solve some problems in communication engineering these problems are uh, asked by some student online question number 1 2 and 3 questions i have already solved these questions and uploaded pdf material to my website and question number 1 is on shanan channel capacity theorem and uh, question number 2 is on the information theory and coding entropy and question number 3 is in antenna communications i will make three different videos for these three problems and you can understand one consider that a 100 kbps data stream is to be transmitted on a voice grade telephone circuit with a bandwidth of 3 kilohertz it is asking is it possible to approach error free transmission with signal to noise ratio of 10 db justify your answer if not possible to achieve error free transmission suggest system modifications that might be made so this question is based on shannon channel capacity theorem which is given by c is equal to b log 2 1 plus signal to noise ratio here uh, c is the channel capacity b is the bandwidth of the channel s is the signal power in watt n is the noise power in watt so this c this is the channel capacity means maximum data rate that we can transmit over a given channel the channel may be coaxial cable twisted wire radio satellite communication or fiber optics so see here irrespective of the noise noise may be too high if uh, the communication system has huge amount of noise still we can approach this capacity this channel capacity by applying uh, error control coding error control by applying good error correction codes we can achieve this channel capacity that is what uh, shannon channel theorem says so here s by n is the signal to noise ratio it is the ratio of signal power to noise power the ideal values of snr will be high because noise is unwanted signal so if you put suppose uh, for ideal communication s by 0 this will be infinity so for good communications to take place signal to noise ratio must be as high as possible generally snr is expressed in db and uh, this is the conversion formula every channel has maximum data rate remember that r must be less than r equal to c the data we transmit to over the channel it must be less than r equal to channel capacity for error free transmission this is uh, channel coding theorem channel coding theorem says that r must be less than or equal to 0 this is the moral of the what is called the channel coding theorem as long as the data you transmit to our the communication channel is less than channel capacity there is no problem if r is greater than c nobody can help you because there will be errors so we must follow the channel coding theorem this is also shannon channel coding theorem so these are all different ways of explaining the channel coding theorem but the moral of the theorem is always you should follow 
or less than C then only you will get error free communication here I reproduce the given data here R is the 100 kbps that we want to achieve be the bandwidth of the channel and the signal to noise ratio is given as 10 dB the question is asking whether this 10 dB is sufficient to achieve this data rate that is what the um, that is what we want to find out so from the channel channel capacity theorem these are simple numerical calculations so we have to convert given SNR in DB to numerical value we can follow these steps so by substituting this the channel capacity is only you can transmit 10.378 kbps this 10.3 is less than 100 kbps 100 kbps so this is the channel capacity and this is the data rate so this uh, question fails because we have seen from channel coding theorem R must always be less than C then only we can achieve error free communication so here we compare the data rate we want and the channel capacity here R is greater than C which is fundamentally wrong in order to achieve error free communication we have seen R must be less than or equal to C according to Shannon channel coding theorem hence it is not possible to achieve error free communication with given SNR 10 dB so what need to be done so we need some changes in the communication system remember that trade off between signal to noise ratio and the bandwidth we trade see here we trade bandwidth for signal to noise ratio or we trade signal to noise ratio for bandwidth trading means business like see here C is constant for given channel we cannot change this the only changes are in the bandwidth and the signal to noise ratio we can trade between bandwidth and signal to noise ratio to achieve constant value of C so to achieve 100 kbps without any errors two cases can be possible we can change bandwidth keeping SNR constant or we should do change SNR keeping bandwidth constant this is called trade-off between signal to noise ratio and the bandwidth so in case one we take SNR 10 dB keep SNR constant so this 100 kbps it is also constant because we want to achieve this 100 kbps without any errors so bandwidth we need to increase we need to increase the bandwidth so we will calculate value of B required to achieve this data rate so these are all numerical calculations how to convert logarithms from base 2 to base 10 like that so here uh, after uh, calculating we get the bandwidth 28.9 kilohertz if we have this bandwidth even though the signal to noise ratio is low no problem we can achieve 100 kbps data rate in case 2 keep bandwidth constant and uh, we, we, we want to achieve this 100 kbps data rate we want to find how much SNR is required to achieve 100 kbps data rate without any errors so I did some simple mathematical calculations I leave it to you to understand to reduce in order to reduce the length of the video so finally SNR value you get this numerical value you get if you convert into decibel you will get 100 db 
SNR. So even if the bandwidth is very low, 3 kilohertz, there is no problem if you are able to maintain signal to noise ratio of 100.34 dB to achieve this 100 kbps data rate. So modifications suggested in the communication system are the modification one will be SNR is 10 dB, okay, but bandwidth should be high that is 28.96 kilohertz to achieve 100 kbps data rate without any errors. In the second modification, bandwidth is low, no problem. But if you are able to maintain SNR of 100.34 dB, you can st still achieve data rate of 100 kbps. If you want PDF files of my video lectures, please visit www.engineerstutor.com for a PDF link see description of the video you can also write to me at rkgopal2020 at the rate of gmail.com for any doubts and queries